Emotional awareness is an important part of emotional regulation. It's important to be able to be aware of the emotions that we're experiencing so that we can try to be the best caregiver that we can. Remember that regulating or trying to control your emotions is very different than not allowing yourself to experience those emotions at all. Feeling things like anger, frustration, jealousy and sadness are, is normal. These negative emotions are part of being human. What would be the real problem would be if you push these emotions down and didn't allow yourself to experience them at all. The first step is to recognize your emotions, to identify them, to label them. Ask yourself, what situations are triggering these emotions for me? Are they out of proportion to the current situation? Is there anything or any way that I can reframe this so that it makes more sense and it's less triggering for me? Practice activities that promote well-being and relaxation, such as mindfulness meditation, yoga, going for walks in nature, spending time with friends, exercising, dancing, journaling, spending time with family. Be kind and compassionate to yourself. Recognize the challenging or critical thoughts that come into your mind. Recognize that being a caregiver is hard work and you're doing the best that you can. As hard as it is, try not to take things personally. Your loved one may be emotionally unaware or be disinhibited due to the illness or disability. Try to distract yourself with enjoyable activities, at least for a few minutes every day. Perhaps linger a little bit longer in the shower. Spend more time enjoying that cup of tea. Take a little bit longer in the bathtub. Talk to a friend. Reach out when you need to. Practice gratitude. Reflect on three things that might have happened that day that you feel grateful for. Being able to focus on some of the good things in our lives, even in the face of stress, can give us hope and make us more resilient. Some ways to practice mindfulness include focusing on your breath, or imagine yourself dropping an anchor so that you are a ship in the ocean, but you are not being swept away by the storm. You can focus on three things that you can see, three things that you can hear, three things that you can touch. This brings you into the present moment and allows you to focus on what's happening right now. And that can be relaxing and helpful for your mental health. If you're trying to provide support to another caregiver, it's important to show empathy, to show compassion, show solidarity in that you're both working together to provide solutions, to provide options and reduce the stress 